I'm going to do a review of the bagger attached to these lawn mowers. The Master Cut and the Troy Built, I believe, are both built by MTD. I believe the bagger that I'm going to review today on the new mower, which is the Troy Built in front of you, is also an MTD product. I believe, and you can correct me on the posting, that Troy Built owns or makes Club Cadet, Yardman, White Outdoors, Yard Machine, Bolins, and uh, for other companies they may make uh, mowers or parts. So here's what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to compare a mower with a bagger that I bought in 1991, over 25 years ago, 91, 92, over 25 years ago, and I'm going to make a comparison of the products on it to the new one. So this is the old one, over 25 years old, nice and solid machine, still operating and I just cut some grass with it. You can see it's very hard cast. The rim is metal. You're not going to bend that and the bags are larger than the new one. They hold considerably more. The pressure of the weight of this holds the top of the bagger onto the baskets and keeps them from leaking. On the new bagger, I think you're going to find that it's nowhere near the quality of the other one. You can see just lifting it up, it's hard to support its own weight. Also, on the hinge section, it appears to me that there's only really two small sections excuse me, three small sections of about this big holding this on. So the ability to distort this or to cause problems on the hinge is pretty significant. I put this post here because when this without the post was here it would flop over and this plastic would deform very badly in my opinion and I couldn't see this lasting the 25 plus years that this bagger has worked with. Also, where you saw this bagger with a heavy metal frame that could not be distorted by hand, you see these baskets a very lightweight relatively and to get them in you almost have to crush them and get them to slide in another problem with these with this bagger is not only the smaller size than this for actual content but if you look closely this is all web and porous all four sides so when you're here so when you're in the mower riding it what's going to happen is you're going to find you're going to get blowback where this basket is solid in the back. The air vents only from the sides, so all the grass particles and dirt and everything else you're going to get only vents from the sides. Now that makes a difference because I've only had this a short time and before I cut this small area of grass, 
I cleaned that mower completely and it was nice and shiny. Now after just cutting this small front yard, this is what you're left with. And I hope you can see, I hope the dirt that's covering the mower and myself after finishing cutting the grass. So you got a problem with the quality of the plastics of the new ones. The deforming at the hinges when this thing actually leans back. That would distort the hinge area. And without the post, this thing flops over and this back area also deforms. You get covered with dirt with the new mower and the new bagger where I don't get covered with dirt with the one that's 25 years old. Also, the chute section of the new one seems to kick out a lot more dirt and crap forward. Now, dirt's a, a problem. Sure, you're going to say lung, small particle, large particle, but it's more than that. When you put fertilizers and insecticides down, you certainly don't want to make those airborne. And this stuff sucks up and throws out in all directions, including the driver, uh, the particles that it gets from the ground. I'm going to say this, that in materials, the design of the catch which holds this down here where this has a very inexpensive crappy lid catch in my opinion I do not like it but that's just my opinion sometimes you have to fight with it sometimes you don't the other problem is there's a side vent you can see it right here you may be able to see my hand through it right here that's free and open and very coarse so all the material sucked up out of the lawn when you're mowing gets compressed in here and blows out here also making it airborne where the old one did not do that so all the materials had to be were filtered by the bag and not allowed to go directly airborne which I believe is a problem now you're back down to so now you're back down to comparing them both. In my opinion, because of the materials, this is superior than this one. This one cost me, or this one's retailing right now where I got it from Lowe's for about $350 plus tax, uh, whatever, $375, whatever that about. You can look it up online. So the old one is uh, superior materials. Again, uh, these catchers, I don't like them, but that's life. You can see the material difference here. Uh, the design for keeping the crap off you, this is superior. This has a lot more kick out. And in my opinion, it's a poor design with the open vent to the side. It just adds more stuff, more covering of you, the person mowing the grass really want or need. Uh, the design problem with the, the back not being solid like this one is so you don't get immediate blowback on behind you. That's why the back of this mower was covered so badly and this mower was not. I can't say that I like this at all. I don't like it at all. But to make a fair comparison, the same company, uh, in theory, MTD, made both of these. Both of these baggers, both of these mowers. So I think that's a fair comparison. And uh, I paid as much for the mower bagger here, almost as much as I did for the bagger. Uh, the bagger being close to $400, I paid about uh, less than 500 for this whole mower bagger. But again, 
talking 1990s compared to now, but the materials and the design were a problem in my opinion. So I told MTD I would give them feedback on what I thought about their bagger and why. You can see this. You can see if without the post how this would hang and, and deflect this. I don't think it's made to last. The design of the catches, the design of the bag, um, it's just not a bagger that I would have wanted to buy. I bought it because I bought the mower, the MTD mower from Lowe's, and I asked them for a bagger. So there you have it. I hope this helps somebody.